Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, the reason for this video is when I was kind of thinking about videos I would have liked to seen as a teenager or a young adult is how to put in contact lenses um, and circle lenses at that. A lot of people find them very intimidating because they're really, really huge. Um, and I just thought it would be really cool to show you guys a video of what I do and how I do it with my nails. So this is pretty much how they come um, for Pinky Paradise. It takes typically about two weeks if you don't pay for express shipping, which is not too bad. At the top, it's going to show the exact prescription you asked for. Um, and I actually went to the doctor and actually got my actual prescription because usually I get these at 000. But if you can help it, you can do that. And then you would just have to submit your prescription or what you think it is and they'll send you the lenses in that form. They also come with a container as well as instructions, but who needs these beautiful instructions when I'm going to tell you how to do it myself. So just throw those out the window pretty much. Alright, so when you get these in the mail, in the instructions they do let you know you should let them sit in a saline solution, a new saline solution for about 8 hours. Um, but I typically do 24 hours. Uh, but I absolutely did not this time because when I actually grabbed my contact solution It was expired last year and I didn't want to kill myself or blind myself or you know what I'm saying So I just decided to put them fresh in my eyes just for demonstration purposes um, so usually the saline inside the bottle is Clean, I'm sure it is clean, but please do not follow what I'm doing at the moment um, This is just for video purposes and I took them right back out Alrighty guys, here is the trickiest part for me is removing the packaging. Now, I don't know if it's because they're from overseas or what, but it's so difficult to get this open and I believe last time I even cut myself. So there's an arrow on it and you would push that arrow straight up and then try to use the back of your nail or hopefully another instrument to peel it off because that's like the same texture of like an aluminum can. So it can cut you, so be very careful. So, most important rule if you don't take anything else from me, make sure you're washing your hands before putting on your contact lenses with an antibacterial soap because I promise to God, if you get anything, any speck of dust in between that lens and your eyeball, it will be the worst day of your entire existence. And I don't want that to happen to you, girl. You also run the risk of scratching your actual eyeball and that feeling doesn't go away for days. I've been through it. Take my advice and don't go through it. So I didn't show it in the video, but I typically put it on my middle finger and when you're looking at it, make sure that the cusps on the outside are facing up and not slightly turned downwards. I'm gonna insert some type of photo because um, that means it's inside out. And when it's inside out and if you get in your eye and you get out of the house, you're going to have irritation in your eye all freaking day and you're gonna hate it. So I'm just slightly pulling down my bottom lid and placing it on my eye. And then once I place it on my eye, I lift my top lid over or sometimes I even blink it. And when you blink it in, you still run the risk of having it fall out. So I don't recommend doing it that way at all. But typically you pull down your bottom lid, take your time and allow that lens to fully cuff your eyeball. It will turn inside out and that's why I stress that you make sure that it's clean. If you have something that happens just like it did to me, I suggest you rinse it off with solution again and then give it another shot. Uh, honestly, the wetter the lens is, the harder it is to get in your eye. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. So the second try is probably gonna be the best regardless. So I've always really loved the payoff that I get color-wise from a circle lens. Uh, because it's bigger and my eyes are like a deep chocolate brown, it's harder to get color payoff from regular contact lenses and I hate that. And I hate how trashy and tacky it looks. Um, and so when I heard of circle lenses and I ordered them and I started wearing them, the color payoff that you get from my dark eyes is just amazing to me. It's beautiful. You can see it from afar that, you know, it's this cool color and it doesn't look outwardly like terrible like a lot of colored le lenses do so that's one reason that i really like circle lenses thank you guys so much for watching i don't know exactly how helpful this was but i hope it helped you just a little bit i appreciate you tuning in and let me know what other videos you'd like to see thanks so much y'all have a good day